So what we want to do is want to play exactly what Chris uh, Russo had to say on ESPN First Take today. Uh, and then want to come back and react to his comments. Take a listen to what he had to say here. I just, I'm looking at them right now and I'm like, damn, this was, this, I think this is the worst prediction of my career. You've made a lot of them. <laughs> I had Denver. I had the Giants losing a Giants losing a Buffalo 49-13 in Super Bowl 25, and the Bills that's the Norwood missed field goal. That was a bad one too. Right. But this one's worse. Yeah. Because I did it on little radio stations. He's doing it in front of the. You brought national. it all the way back to I'm, Super Bowl 25. Uh, Thank you for that. Yeah, but you know I would. You know I would. Yeah, I'm braver than you. Right. I'm braver than you. Well, you said. Can we get Can we get back to the lack yes. of belief though? Because Draymond, like you said, was talking about that at halftime as well. And uh, Stephen A. Echoing the same sentiment. Well, first they off, don't believe anything. I love. Anthony Edwards, too. Let's stop now with the Jordan comparisons, please. He's won six playoff games. And Jordan won a championship before Nobody he was the NBA. Nobody's comparing. It, it, it looks, the how he looks, I, he looks like he has that potential. I, That's all anybody Never said. again. I don't want to hear it. Never again. There's Jordan and there's everybody else. Let's be fair. Okay. That's number one. Perk. Jordan looked a certain way before he won titles. He scored 63 he scored, against the Celtics okay, in a playoff title. game. We, he had nobody. And he uh, lost that uh, game. Can we stay at the task? Yeah. Double hands. overtime! Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. We yes. know he's the greatest. May I continue? Yeah, yes. we're fo I'm focused on this Don't series. Don't look at me that way, little life. Uh, I mean, you don't want to How is Minnesota going to come back and win game seven, yet the Pacers are out of it? What, Denver's not better than the Knicks? Yet the Pacers can't win a game seven, and the Denver Wolves are going to go out there and beat the Nuggets in game seven? That's not fair. Burke? It is fair. How is that fair? It is fair. Let me explain why. So you heard what uh, Chris Russo um, had to say uh, there. To me personally, I think he is, I think he is 100% uh, on the money. I think he's 100% on the money and um, I don't think he's hating. I don't think he's shattering anybody's hopes and dreams. I don't think he's attacking the young man. Like one, one joker tried to come on our channel and say the other day, cause I disagree. I'm like, relax, like just, just relax. Um, the fact of the matter is there is no comparison. When initially I heard this comparison, I scoffed at it. I'm like, wait, the only reason why you're comparing them cause they both dark skin. Like what's, what's going on here? Like, what are we doing? Right? That's what it is. They both dark skin. So therefore you remind you of Jordan. But apart from that, uh, there is real, really no comparison at at all uh from from a from a starting point trajectory wise there's nothing that suggests that uh anthony edwards is michael jordan on par to be the next michael jordan there's absolutely nothing uh that suggests that suggests the following uh when jordan got into the nba i mean when anthony edwards got into the nba he was scoring 19 points as a rookie um coming into the league with one steal 2.9 assists 4.7 rebounds when Jordan came into the NBA as a rookie, he was scoring 28 points per game on 51% shooting, 17% from the three. The following season, he scored 25. He only played 18 games that year. The following season, he scored 37 games. He played all 82 games, uh, 37 points. He played all 82 games. That's the highest scoring average we've seen in the last 30 years in the NBA. Michael Jordan holds that. The very next season, he scores 35, and he goes on to win 10 scoring titles in a row. Uh, in Anthony Edwards' first four years in the NBA, his accomplishments are the following. He made the all-rookie first team, I'm talking about in the NBA, and he made two all-star selections. What did Michael Jordan do in his first, uh, what is it, in his first four seasons in the NBA? Uh, Michael Jordan was winning scoring titles. Uh, by 1988, he, he had already started winning uh, MVPs. He was already making all, he was winning all-star game MVPs in his first uh, four seasons in the NBA. You know, he was making all first NBA teams uh, when, when he did it. And by, by 1988, he had already won a defensive player of the year. And he was making multiple all first defensive teams. Um, there is no comparison. He was leading the league in steals and all of that. There is no comparison whatsoever. And sorry to break some people's hearts, but you need to relax. I think, I think some of you guys really need to relax. Let Anthony Edwards be Anthony Edwards. Because the minute you start comparing him to Michael Jordan, you're comparing him to the greatest player to ever play the sport and then complaining that people are holding him to that standard. That's what you're going to have. And that's what you deserve. If you're going to stand up and say he's the next Jordan, then people are going to say, well, really? Well, let me look at it. I don't see this. I don't see that. I don't see this. I don't see that. I don't see this. I don't see that. Go sit down. 